James Adams from TriStateFootball.com here with Randy Borchers. Coach, I mean, honestly, coming into this game, if anybody told me that it was going to be a lopsided, one-sided game, everybody would say Highlands. I mean, 25, 30 years of history says that. You guys don't even have that much history at this program. What an amazing victory. I mean, what are your thoughts coming out of that big, big win? Well, you know, we, we ended the season last year on a high note. You know, we, we struggled mid-season last year, and we ended kind of on a high note. And we carried it over to this year. We had a great offseason, you know, and, and we were looking for this game, you know, ever since the season was over. And we knew this would be a game that, that not only allowed us to see where we were as a team, but also as a program. Like you said, the history they got and, and just the mystique they have and, and the Hollands across their jersey, you know, a lot of times that, that scares kids or at least, you know, intimidates them a little bit. And our kids didn't come out intimidated today, and I think that says a lot about about the character of our kids. You warmed up in one uniform and you came out in another. What's the story behind that? Yeah, they just got shipped in. So, no, we... I ain't buying that. No, we just... It was something, um, you know, kids knew we were getting new uniforms that came in. We were trying to do something to get them up a little, you know, get them fired up. And, and they had no idea they were coming in. We told them they were stuck in Honduras. And I think they believed it. So uh, we brought them out in their old ones. And while they were out here, we went in, put the new ones in their lockers. And, and they came in and had a Christmas present. Well, it definitely worked, Coach. But you know what worked for you tonight? Just about everything. I mean, you could talk about Tory. I think we said he went for a buck, th uh, buck 84. How about the guys up front blocking for him, who also were the guys ripping Herget to the ground on defense? Your big men up front played great. They did, and that's that's the strength of our team right now. You know, we want to be able to run the ball, and in order to run the ball, we got to be able to, to to have the blocking up front. And those guys did a great job, and they got gas. You can see that going into halftime. And we did everything we could. We were trying to spell them at the, you know, hopefully at the right times, and. And, and we, you know, we got by with, with putting some other guys in and, and keep some of our Hall Scouts at it, out at on defense. But you know, those guys just battled through it. You could tell going in at halftime we were gassed. And to be honest with you, I was worried coming out the second half that they were just going to wear us out and, and sneak out with the victory. But our kids just battled through it. You know, we were able to play some field position in the second half, get some short, short um, fields, and, and put some points on the board. So the big guys up front played great. But in a win like this, everyone does. Your DBs, I thought, played great in the first half. I mean, every time Herget was looking for a receiver, your secondary was one, two guys on top of those balls, ends up turning into four turnovers by the time the game's over. I mean, they played great, and you guys dominate in the turnover category. And, and that's our goal. You know, we, we feel like in order to win games, we have to win the turnover battle, and we were able to do that. But, you know, we got a veteran ball club back. You know, we returned 10 out of 11 starters defensively, so and that was kind of our strong suit last year. So, so that's where we're confident at, and, and those guys came out today. You know, our safeties did a pretty good job filling. They got to get a little bit better. You know, we got beat a couple over the top, and, both of those are our corners got caught looking in the backfield and really just got the guys just ran right by them. So, you know, we still got a lot to work on. As I told these kids, if we, if we sit here now and, and we enjoy this too much, you know, Newcastle's going to sneak up on us. And, and that's my alma mater, and, and there's no way I want to lose to those guys next week. Coach, there can't be 10 u new uniforms each week, right? I mean, what do you do to, to keep your team from making this the high point of the year? Uh, I think we need to go do some film study tomorrow. And, and you know, I tell the kids all the time, you know, if you think you played well, you never play as well as you think you did. And if you think you played bad, you're never as bad as you think you did. So, you know, we'll have some we'll, we'll have some discussions tomorrow during the film. And we'll bring them down back down to earth, and, and we'll just move on. Coach Randy Borchers, thanks for your time after a humongous win. Congratulations on getting the year rolling right, one nothing. All right, man, thank you.